Hello, everyone, and welcome to Coon Rapids Ice Center for CTN's live coverage of girls high school hockey tonight. A Northwest Suburban Conference matchup that couldn't be any closer between the Coon Rapids Cardinals and the Champlain Park Rebels. Joey on Howie Shapiro high above the action in Howie. Just a week left in the regular season. Just a half game separates these two teams, and they're still battling for a little bit of seeding placement headed into the postseason just over a week away. These last two games are really important for both these teams in terms of seeding. Now, Coon Rapids uh, figures if they can win the last two games, good possibility they get the four, maybe the five or the six, depending on how other things work out. But this is going to be a good game. These two teams played earlier in the season. Champlain Park was on the on the losing end by a score of 2-0. Both goals scored on the power play by yeah. the Cardinals. Yeah, we figure this is going to be a very close game. It's going to be a lot of speed. There's going to be some physicality, but there's going to be a lot of speed. There's not going to be a lot of great scoring chances because you've got two good keepers uh, between between the pipes at each end and that's kind of who we're, we're going to focus on to start the game because it's going to come down to them which one of them uh, maybe gives up that, that tough goal that could be the difference. Well for Champlain Park Hannah Ghetto is, is certainly a phenomenal goaltender. She's going to be an all-state uh, candidate no doubt and you look at her ERA and it's a, a one point Five seven with a with a nine point point nine four nine save percentage, Joe. And this is a goaltender who is very stellar. Cardinals talked about we're going to have to get to her early. We're going to have to pepper the net here tonight. Well, and the Cardinals have been able to do that. They've been able to get a fair amount of shots on their opponents, put the pressure on that end. They are going to have to get rebound chances, and they are going to have to get good setups if, it, if they're going to get past Gettle. At the other end, Brittany Buell, just a sophomore, but a second-year starter for the Cardinals, and she's been a solid netminder for them. Yeah, Brittany's had a nice season there. Take a look at her numbers, a 2.40 goals against and a .893 save percentage. And Coach Colton said, well, what we're going to have to do is we're going to try and play Four up top. We're going to get a lot of pressure in on net tonight. We're going to try and get on the board here first. Put a lot of pressure on Brittany Buell and see if they can get to that early lead. Well, Buell able to shut them out earlier uh, in the season, and Coach Christofferson hoping that her keeper can do the same again tonight. Yeah, and she knows this is an important contest for her squad. And, you know, this is a, this is a game that if they can, on their home ice, they can get the series uh, win between these two teams. It's going to be huge for them in terms of seedings for the playoff. Yeah, they've got a the longest winless streak of the season going right now at five games. They've got tonight against Campbell Park, and then later this week they play Anoka, a team that beat them in overtime just a couple weeks ago, a team they're looking for some play, payback against. And there's her counterpart, Jim Coltis, on the bench for Champlain Park. Yeah, Coach Coltis said the, the thing I, we need to do tonight, stay out of the box. And we talked about that, too. Both their goals for the Cardinals on the power play. They know that they have to be able to play at full strength if they want to get the win here on the Cardinals home ice. Well, I think that's going to be a key for both teams is to keep all five skaters on the ice as much as they can. The Cardinals and the Rebels drop the puck next on CTN. Michael Adams? Here. Michael Adams? Here. <laughs> Michael Adams. Here! Michael Adams. Students who miss 18 days of school in any grade risk falling behind and not graduating. Absences add up. Keep track at boostattendance.org today. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Every day across America, 
Excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. When you watch CTN News, you'll notice we're different. It's about the people, the places, the stories that affect your life. We're local. We focus on the local communities, the local issues, and the local stories. They're the stories that impact you, the stories you won't find anywhere else. It's the people, the places, and the events that make CTN so interesting. It's about connecting you to your community, one story at a time. Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. So, what is CTN Studios? Well, we're the local cable TV station in Coon Rapids. We bring you news, events, city government, sports, all the things that are happening in and around our community. So that means you'll find out what's going on next door, or at City Hall, or at the local schools. It's information other stations don't think is important, but we think it's information that's important to you. Want to know when streets are being fixed? Or learn new ways we can recycle? or how the local teams are doing. You can find all of this on CTN. It's not just about bringing the community to you. It's about bringing you to the community. Because we think you'll like it here. CTN Studios. Building community through cable. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. The Cardinals ready to get it started. Their final home game of the 2014-15 season along their home end hang the jerseys of their seven, eight senior players. An emotional night as they had a little bit of the ceremony with moms and dads and uh, pictures taken. And a number of those jerseys, a number of those players who have been big parts of this program for a great number of years. But without a doubt, and a lot of contributions from, from all those players. And now, now they have to kind of forget about the, the pregame ceremony and, and get back to the game of hockey because they can't let that kind of stay in their heads. they got to come out here and play. This is an important game here tonight, Joe, and, and obviously both teams know that. And I think whoever dictates the play early is going to have the advantage going into Yeah, the in, Cardinals definitely want to try to build off of that emotion, but they have to be able to get their legs moving yep. and get off to a fast start. Both teams maybe a, a, a little bit slower start to the game than what they're used to because of those festivities. It did not change the amount of time between warm-ups and the actual game start, but still, uh, you know, you, you get used to having that, that rhythm right. from the time you get in the locker room an hour before game time. And here we are, we're about 20 minutes behind schedule uh, to, to get this puck drop. 
Yeah, it was a nice, nice ceremony to honor these seniors, and, and you know, as you talked about, an emotional night here. But uh, Tampa Park knows they feel the emotion. In fact, that they they know they need to win this game, try and make sure that they keep a solid seed once the section playoffs start. Here's a look at your starting lineups for the visiting Rebels. Kaylee Wood in the middle with Carly Martinson and Abby Dockett on the wings. Jordan Trapp and Brianna Johnson on the blue line. The Cardinals have Fish, Ryan and Greg up front with Anula and Lawrence on the blue lines and Gettle and Buell, the goaltenders we spoke about in the uh, opening. Johnson plays it around behind that puck. Skips past and Bailey Ryan able to get a stick on him momentarily. Now coughed up and along the boards comes Carly Martinson through center ice into the Coon Rapids end trying to split the D. She just slides it in and Buell will cover it up. Uh, Coach Coltis talked and said, you know, we, we're going to put a lot of pressure on that. We'll, we'll look for those dirty goals uh, if we can get them as well. They all count. Yep, they all count. The defense stepping up, putting a little pressure on, and as you mentioned, an easy save for Buell. Face off to her left. Lawrence tied up, able to get the puck and play it around far side. Lily Hackett will scoop it up just about the top of the circle, skate through center. Into the zone, she'll take a shot, not a lot on it. Gettle will save to the near faceoff dot. Puck comes free, and Hackett plays it back to the far boards. Uses her speed to get there again, plays it around behind. Brina Gidel Castillo there challenging with Borrell. Puck comes out to the high slot, but the Rebels able to jump on it. Dockett plays it off the glass all the way down. That'll be icing a faceoff back in the Champlain Park end. Just over a minute into the game. There's head coach Christofferson, and she uh, she knows her team needs to needs their heads to be in this game tonight after that uh, pregame festivities. And I think we'll, you know we're seeing the Cardinals a little bit controlling the end early on down in the in the Rebel end. Novak and Stahlberger in the faceoff dot puck bounces hard, played by the Rebels momentarily. Hackett had it for a second, knocked around, still loose. Nobody able to get control, and the Rebels finally chip it out to center. Hansen bumped stole off of it, but comes in a backhand that skipped away from Buell. Lawrenson had it poked away by Brandy Del Castillo. Knocked off the stick of Hallett. Hack it back to Del Castillo. He near side is Brina. Her pass broken up, comes right back to her. Now goes cross side a little too far in front of Hackett. And recovered in the zone and turned back out by Shuck. Center ice, Cardinals regain control. Brina plays it in deep. Cardinals getting a line change. Fish will come and provide a little pressure. Puck comes near side to Stoll. Cross ice pass. Had Dockin had to come back for it. And then played off her stick by Ryan just outside the Coon Rapids blue line. She gets across center and dumps it in deep. In behind, a Rebel goes down. That was Brianna Johnson. Some Champlain Park fans, I think, wanted a call. Not going to get one. Greg ends up with it in the corner for the Cardinals, trying to play it back behind. That's broken up. Skips away from Dawkins' stick, and here's Martinson into the zone. Wines, shoots, not a lot on it. Easy save for Buell to the far side. Played back in. Martinson regains control, keeps it away, and that one's going to slide back out of the zone. Martinson, the leading scorer on this uh, Rebel Club. 13 goals, 16 assists on the season. He's dangerous in front of the net. Anula plays it at back out to center and slung back in by Erica Borrell. Keller plays it back behind. Anula will wing it back around to the far side. Hackett is waiting. Hackett will chip it up and out. Stopped up there by Johnson and tried to play it back in. Ended up in the Coon Rapids players bench. Head coach Jim Coltis. He, uh, he had a chance to talk to him a little bit before the game and and, you know, they're, they're, they need to create some chances. He said, we have to create some chances here tonight offensively if we're going to compete in this hockey game. Hacking with it off the draw, trying to get it back to Hanson. It kind of handcuffed her. Cardinals running into each other a little bit. Stahlberger playing it ahead too far for Del Castillo. Tracked down in the zone by Burrell. Played back across for Johnson behind her own net. Johnson hard off the board, skips past Scott, kept in there by Hanson. Hackett. We'll play it back in behind. Marina Del Castillo stopping up to avoid the pressure. Trying to turn away again. Gets help from Stahlberger. Stahlberger lost the handle. It's played all the way down the ice by Colford. 
And that'll be icing. And a face off back to the right of Hannah Gettle. Uh, not a lot of opportunities offensively yet for either squad. Just a couple of shots on goal for the Rebels. Just one for Coon Rapids with 13-29 remaining in the opening period. A little pressure down in, Get in uh, Gettle's end. Fish and Novak tie up. The puck play behind. Trap able to come away with it behind the net. Trying to get it up the boards and now does. Lorenzen will get to the red line and dump it in deep. Lawrence will be the first one there for the Cardinals. Plays it around near side. Bailey Ryan just deflecting it. Trying to spring Fish, but that's broken up. Kept in at the blue line by Shuck. Lawrence will play it back around to the far side. Stopped up with the backhand by Lorenzen. She's tied up there by Greg. Plays it down into the corner. Emily Stoll back in behind. Fish ties up there. A centering pass and a good job by Hansen to tie up the stick of Lorenzen and keep her from getting a shot up. Lorenzen dumps it back in for Novak. Novak trying to cycle. Didn't get enough on it. Hansen flips it up and out. Icing waved off as the Rebel defender, Megan Shuck, got a piece of it. This one played back out to center. Hanula waits for Ryan to clear and then dumps it back in. Shuck in the far corner. Her pass broken up away from Lorenzen. Shuck trying to play it up the middle. Hanula can't keep it in. Hackett turns with it and plays it in deep. Trap behind her own net. We'll send it back behind for Shuck. Rebels trying to float Martinson, but the puck didn't get there quick enough. She's now going to play it in. Buell will leave it behind for Hanula. Around far side, Hackett ahead, a little bit behind Nicole Stahlberger, or Allie Stahlberger, excuse me, and that one was offside. Well, you, you talked about uh, Martin floating in, and that's what uh, Coach Colts just wants to do. Colts just wants to do. He wants to have a player float in. He wants to get an opportunity for, a, for kind of a fast break. So to speak, and see if uh, if they can free somebody for Johnson open trying to center poked away by Buell. Martinson was hungry on the back door. Stalberg dumping it, and that was played into the Champlin players bench. We'll take another look at it. An opportunity for the Rebels to be able to that one away. Right. Martinson was right there. Yep. Good smart heads up play by the Cardinal keeper. Played hard off the near boards. Stoll will dump it in. Novak gets there first. Ties up with Keller. Stoll there as well. Puck comes free. Lorenzen back out to the point. Played back in deep by Tessa Lorenzen. Got Annie and Tessa. Lorenzo. Whitney Gregg flying down the left wing for the Cardinals. Lost the handle. Picked off by Tessa. She lost it. Clearing attempt didn't work out for Johnson, but she regains control. Now knocked off her stick. And now pressured by Gregg. She coughs it up again in the corner. Gregg. Working against the hook attempt. Just plays it back in deep. Lorenzo shovels it around. Andy Lorenzen had stopped up at the blue line by Lawrence. Stalberg dumps it off for Brina Del Castillo. She's bumped there by Tessa Lorenzen. Gets it back out to the point for Hanula. His shot deflected into the corner by Stoll. Johnson tied up. Got it back to Stoll. Centering pass, and here's a Cali, Carly Lorenzen. That time the Rebels did a nice job defensively, just keeping the Cardinals wide in the net. Manula racing out of her own end, avoiding a couple of stick checks into the Champlain Park zone, pushes it back behind. Hackett stops up, tried to get it back to Brina, went right between her legs. Hanula is shot from the boards. Easy glove save for the goalkeeper, Hannah Gettle. Yeah, she, she just, Hanula just floated that one into Gettle. And, and as you mentioned, an easy opportunity, forcing face off to her right. Just a quick shot right into the glove. Fish able to win the draw. Brandy Del Castillo can't get to it. And here's Martinson racing down the right wing. Has help. That pass too far in front of Abby Dockin. Dockin plays it back. Martinson hacking away at the side. But Buell able to cover it up. Yeah, Martinson looks for those opportunities right in front of the net. She wants to clean up those rebounds. It's 
That's why she's the leading scorer here. She's got a good feel for the ice, good opportunity in front of the net. You'll force to uh, hold on to the puck. Good speed, good stick. Yep. Reps letting him play at Champlain Park. Uh, got a couple sticks up. Greg, an opportunity out front, and they've hopped over the stick of Bailey Ryan. Ryan circles, shoots out front. Greg got a stick on it, but couldn't deflect it toward the net. Fish now shoots it into the skates. And now played near side for Callie Martinson. Knocked away from her. Fish at her own blue line, leaves it off for Hansen. Her pass broken up by Martinson. Brina will chop it back for Hansen. Back to Brina, deflected off her skate. Chuck plays it off the boards, dumped in by Martinson. Stahlberger sends it right back out to Brina at center ice. She lost the handle. Chuck will bounce it off the near boards. And a good step up by Hansen. And no, it wasn't. They're going to call her for a penalty. Yeah, it's and a trip. This will be the first opportunity of the game for either team to go on the power play. We'll see the Rebels first. As Hansen is going to take a seat in the penalty box. Looked to me like she broke it up, stepped up just at the right time to force offside. Instead, she's called for the trip. We'll take another look at it. Oh, yeah, she definitely yeah. got the stick in. Yeah. And upended uh, Micah uh, Sutherland. One-time attempt was stopped up by Hanula and cleared the distance. Now the Cardinal penalty kill unit will be tested here for the first time tonight. Brina, chance out front, short-handed for Stahlberger, but Gettle keeps the door closed. A great opportunity for the Cardinal short-handed. Martinson into the zone, winds, fires. I'm not sure if that rolls up and over the net or if I don't I think I think Beal got, Beal a, piece got of a piece of it. Of it. Yeah. Here's Martinson from the top of the circles that deflected well wide. Played back in behind out to Martinson cross ice and the Kaylee Wood fanning on the one time attempt. Brandy can't quite get to it still battling in the corner. Coming away with it is trap out to Martinson his shot that hit trap right in the Backside and gave the Cardinals a chance to clear at the length of the ice. A little more than midway through this power play, and the best scoring opportunity has come for Coon Rapids. Martinson weaving through traffic, tipped away by Hanula. Hackett gains control and fires it back out to center. Shop plays it back in, knocked away from Hackett. Lawrence can't clear. Here's Martinson at the top of the circle. Her shot blocked by Brina. And Del Castillo is going to fling it down and hack it in a foot race. He's going to be the first one to the puck. Circling around. Oh, lost the handle. It was a great opportunity. Yeah, it was. Coming off the top of that circle to get into a good shooting spot. She had the position on the defender. But we're going to have a penalty. Not only against Champlin Park, but against their top player, Kaylee Martinson, going to the box two minutes for roughing with just two minutes left of the Coon Rapids spot. Yeah, two, sec two seconds left. Yeah, absolutely. So the Cardinals are going to get their first power play opportunity here with Martinson taking the penalty. And it must have happened right behind yeah. that. She got the hands up, called for roughing. And with that, Hansen is out of the box, and Coon Rapids has a power play. Hansen dumps it in, and that's going to give Wood a chance, or Johnson rather, a chance to send it all the way down. Manula pressured by Stoll. We'll skate around out to center ice. Plays it out front, Fish couldn't get a stick on it. Hansen fires, that hits traffic. Played to the line, but not out. Ryan fanned on it, but kept it in the zone. Greg plays it in behind. Johnson can't get it out. Another attempt, fanned on by Stoll. Hanula at the blue line, that pass deflected and then deflected again and goes wide. That hit the traffic out front and nearly ended up in the back of the net. Here's Hanula again, that shot. Tipped away wide. 
And now played around and out of the zone. Cardinals changing up a couple of defenders. Stoll will dump it in deep, and the Rebels will get a couple of new penalty killers up. Long pass to Brina at center ice. Knocked off her stick, played back to the Coon Rapids blue line. Lawrence recovers there, back to Brina. Steps into the zone, leaving it off for Hackett. That's broken up and cleared out by Catherine Novak. Novak did a nice job of just reaching for that puck and clearing it. Hackett comes out with the puck, a shot, a glove save, and Gettle will hold on. Uh, just a re relatively easy si save for Gettle. Just going to make sure she grabbed that puck before Cardinals were going to get there. Forcing the face off to her left. Well, we talked about the importance of power play opportunities, and there's a look at that one that was deflected out right off the shot and then hit the traffic out front and skipped wide. Cardinals a quick shot, but not a lot on that one, and an easy save by Gettle. Back out to Brandy Del Castillo across to Lawrence. Her shot deflected out front, still loose. Brina puts the shot on, still loose. Comes free. And Dockin able to chop it out. Here's Martinson, fresh out of the box, able to come in on a breakaway and sends it wide on the backhand as Brandy Del Castillo got just enough to make her change her shot. Yeah, fortunately for the Cardinals that she got a little bit of pressure in there. Martinson to, to change up what she wanted to do. Lawrence's shot is blocked by Sutherland who will skate to center now into the zone pressured from behind shot without much on it deflected into the corner. Poked out to center by Stahlberger Johnson near side for Shuck gets to the red line and dumps it in deep. Buell will stop it up there for Hanula. Hanula for Greg on the far boards now Hanula regathers it out to center across the red line and Tried to dump it up in and put it into the box instead. 3.58 remaining in the first period. Still no score between Coon Rapids and Chaplin Park. Everything we expected coming in. Absolutely. Cardinals out shooting the Rebels 7-3 to three at this point. Coach uh, Chris Offerson said we want to get at least 30 shots on goal in this, Here's uh, in this contest. Here's Martinson trying to get around the corner again. Force just wide enough. Rebound chance, and it goes up on top of the net. A wide open opportunity for Abby Dockin, and she got under the puck a little too much. Yeah, you know, you couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. Golden, that golden should have been a goal. opportunity. Yeah, it should have been a goal. And you saw it there, and you could see her throw her head back in disgust. She knew she had that wide open net. She didn't put what she wanted on the puck. Got a little too much lift on it, and it rests on the top of the net. Cardinals got away with one right there. As both defenders got sucked over to Martinson, and their keeper gave up a juicy rebound. Officials are confirming that. Well, show. they're trying to decide where they, the face off should be. Coach Colt is talking to one. Yep. He can't argue that it's outside of the zone. No. Got to be outside of the zone. Yep. It's off of the Champlain Park stick. Coach Christofferson down next to the boards, trying to make sure she gets to hear the conversation between the guys in the stripes. Listening intently to what they decide. Yeah, obviously, yeah, the face will come outside the blue. Johnson skates into the zone along the right wing. Shot from a tough angle and a goal! And Champlain Park cashes in just after missing a golden opportunity. A short angle shot by one of their captains puts them on top, one to nothing. And exactly what the Rebels wanted here is to get that first goal in the first period. And, and uh, Brianna Johnson does that. She's going to make a count, get it behind Buell. You see it get, get behind her. And Rebels are going to take that 1-0 one, that one lead. That was goal number five of the season for Johnson. Shot it right under the stick of Alyssa Hansen and over the glove of Brittany Buell. 
to put the Rebels on top, one to nothing. Well, they have to feel pretty good about missing that wide open opportunity. No, they just still earlier. don't feel good about that. Uh, well, but no, that, but they have to feel better by getting that yes. goal. That's what I'm just saying. Just seconds later. Yep. Scoring for Jim McCarthy at 15 minutes, 20 seconds into the period. Number 29, Brianna Johnson. Brandy had it tipped away from her, plays it up the board. Johnson. Now we'll see how the Cardinals react from that first goal. There's going to be a penalty, I believe, called on Champlin Park. It's going to be a hold. Yep. Now let's see if the Cardinals can bounce back here on their, their right next opportunity. right after scoring, yep. Johnson heads to the bench for a hold. Tried we'll to, get, uh, tried to throw her hands yeah, up. Yeah, she did. A little too late. Already pulled Stahlberger down. Here's Martinson leading it two on two, shorthanded. Dumps it in. Martinson took one for the team right there. Yeah, she, she definitely limping did. Limping a little bit as she blocked that hard pass, but she comes away with the puck. Top of the circle, shoots, hits Brandy Del Castillo. Brina scoops it up. Brina trying to get around the corner. Rebels doing a nice job of cutting her off, bringing more bodies to the puck. Brandy into the zone. Leaves it off for Hackett. Walking in, knocked off her stick. Able to get it back, Stahlberger. And now Brina down low for Hackett. Hackett pressured along the end boards by Borrell. Borrell able to get hold of it and clear it up the boards. Kept in by Lawrence. That shot deflected. Borrell gets it back. Lawrence able to keep it in again, but only momentarily as it's fired the length by Dockett. Yeah, nice job by Lawrence to try and keep it in, but Dockett uh, easily able to push it down the length of the ice. Novak will dump this down. Buell will stop it up, leave it for Hansen. Hansen fanned on the pass, trying to bring it back to the near side. Novak continues to pressure, taken off of it. Here's Greg sidestepping around Lawrence and into the zone. Tried to center, that was deflected, broken up. And right out of the box is Johnson. She gets the pass in on a breakaway. Shot and a save this time with the glove hand of Brittany Buell. Oh, Johnson tried to pull that puck around the front as well. Cross ice pass broken up by Johnson. She'll wind and fire, hit Lawrence, and Lawrence headed the other way. Gives it up for Greg, and Greg will dump it in. As the Cardinals get a line change. Lawrence providing a little bit of pressure behind the net. Laid up the boards. Johnson tips it, but kept in by Hanula. Hackett trying to come away from that scrum along the boards with the puck. Unable to do so. Hanula will play it back in. Burrell out of the corner. Chased by Stahlberger. Tipped away by Hackett. Recovered by Brina, 10 seconds left. Out front, broken up by Johnson. Stahlberger, down low to Brina. Under five seconds remaining. Shot by Keller is deflected wide, and that's how the first period will end. Shots are dead even. The only difference, the goal by Brianna Johnson. It came at 13-20 of the first period. And it gives the Rebels a 1-0 lead. We'll take a break and hear from Coon Rapids head coach Jessica Christofferson right after this. You're watching live girls high school hockey on CTS. Got a job to do today.
Hey, Mom. I got the job. <laughs> Thanks. Got the job. Welcome aboard. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. Back at the Coon Rapids Ice Center, it's a 1-0 lead for Champlain Park as we reach the first intermission. But a good, tight game, fast-paced at both ends. We're joined now by uh, Coon Rapids head coach Jessica Christofferson. And coach, it looked like your team was generating some opportunities. Your assessment of the first. Yeah, I think it was pretty good out of the gate, you know, especially that first power play. We really had a, a couple of nice opportunities, but um, seems like right when that little stoppage there, when they were questioning the, the puck on top of the net right after that, for whatever reason, we we sort of started to play a little bit rattled and, and not very not very much poise. And I'm not, I wasn't looking. I didn't see how that goal went in. It didn't look like a very good angle from where she shot from, but um, we need to uh, we need to pick it back up. Coach, what do you talk to the girls about in the in-between periods and, and kind of how to pick up the place, I, pace? I know you said you wanted to get at least 30 shots on goal in this game. What are your mess What's your message to them? Yeah, you know, this whole week, the last couple of weeks, actually, we've just been stressing playing our game. And, and uh, you know, if we if we come out and play at the pace that we know we can, um, other teams are going to have to adjust to us. And I think we're just sitting around a little bit too much and trying to stick in a little bit too much instead of trying to use our speed and, and fly by. And, you know, they're doing the same kind of things we expect them to do. They're flying the zone. They're trying to send players. They're trying to spring players on breakaways. And that's really the only way that they're creating a whole lot of productive offense. So um, we just need to make a few different uh, little adjustments, and we'll be okay. Yeah, that was actually going to be my question. They have been, you know, playing that weak side wing high, trying to spring, use their speed to get behind your defense. What do you do to counter that in the second? Well, a lot of it stems from face-off play, which we haven't been great at in the first period. You know, we're not we're not covering our person, and somebody's getting beat, and then somebody's trying to help out, and, and then we're running around all over the place. So um, a lot of it is just disciplined coverage, and then from there, you know, it's just being smart. And right off of that penalty, you know, our defenseman had no idea that kid was coming out of the box. And, and stuff like that can't happen. So we just have to, you know, address a few things and, and come out and hopefully have a better period. All right. Well, thanks for being with us. Good luck you the rest of the way. We'll take another break. We'll be back with first period stats and highlights right after this. You're watching Live Girls High School Hockey on CTF. Know what? What? Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like my human is definitely into your human. Oh, look! I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your human's got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that thing where they put their arms around each other. She kicked up a leg. It's like in the movies. That's awesome. Looks like we're going to be hanging out a little bit more. Cook foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. <laughs> Can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Sweetheart, 
give you a hand? <laughs> no thanks, Dad. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Back at the Coon Rapids Ice Center, it's a 1-0 lead for the Champlain Park Rebels. As we reach the first break, it was pretty much a wide open first period. Both teams trying to use their speed to create opportunities. Both teams getting some opportunities, but the Rebels getting a late one and putting it away to take that lead. Yeah, Coach Christofferson saw some things she liked, saw some things she didn't like. You know, and you're down 1-0, you have an opportunity here. It's, I mean, it's early, it's, uh, it's not a, a huge lead. They come back, they make some adjustments, come back in that second play, in that period and play a little better. Well, and historically, throughout uh, the last couple of weeks, at least, even when they have gone through on this winless streak, the Cardinals have played really well late in the uh, game. That was actually a shorthanded attempt, one of the best attempt uh, opportunities for the Cardinals early on. And then that wide open golden opportunity happened. And as you t they talked about where the faceoff should be after the rebound ended up on top of the net, they get the goal from Brianna Johnson and then Johnson takes a penalty and then right out of the box gets sprung on a breakaway and Buell comes up with a big glove save to keep it at a 1-0 game. It's still anybody's game, still got uh, two periods to play and uh, both teams expected to come out even, with even more fire in the second. Yeah, exactly. Get continued pressure on, on each other's goaltenders and, and, and try and get those, uh, those dirty goals as we talked about earlier. There you take a look at the stats. Shots on goal are even, just the one goal for Champlin Park in this first period. And, and uh, Coon Rapids has the better of uh, three power play opportunities, three shots on their power play. Well, the Rebels trying to avenge a loss from earlier this season. The Cardinals trying to complete a season sweep over at Northwest Suburban Rivals. Second period starts next on CTN. Brush, brushy, brush, brush your teeth. Every day and every night. Now it's your parents' turn. Here's what you gotta do. Let them have your toothbrush so that they can brush you. Brush your teeth. Great job, you're almost done. Four, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Happy Tuesday, happy. Brushy brush with a grown up every day. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Looking for these? You drive buzzed, it could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving because buzz driving is drunk driving. Families come in all sizes and shapes. Sometimes your friends are your family by choice. Or sometimes oh, you're oh, just oh, stuck oh, with oh, Uncle Charles. Oh. But what we know is that you want to protect the people that are close to you. But the flu can unravel everything. Your flu vaccine protects you and your family. No matter what draws your family together, protect yourself. Protect your family. Everyone needs a flu vaccine. If you have a collision at 25 miles an hour and you're not wearing a seatbelt, it's like falling from a two-story building. At 40 miles an hour, it's like falling from six stories high. 
and at 60 miles an hour, if you're not wearing your seatbelt and you crash, it's like falling from 12 stories high. Buckle up. A message from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety. When you watch CTN News, you'll notice we're different. It's about the people, the places, the stories that affect your life. We're local. We focus on the local communities, the local issues, and the local stories. They're the stories that impact you, the stories you won't find anywhere else. It's the people, the places, and the events that make CTN so interesting. It's about connecting you to your community, one story at a time. Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Just about ready to drop the puck on period number two. It was an exciting first. Sure, it's going to be another two periods of good back and forth action between these two teams. And that young lady has been a big catalyst, Kaylee Martinson. She didn't get the goal, but uh, she is definitely a spark plug for Champlain Park. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how these, these two teams start and the kind of pace they have. Whitney Gregg into the zone. We'll take it around. Johnson out front, a backhand, and the door is shut by Gettle. Yeah, a good opportunity early on for Coon Rapids. Certainly. I think Johnson was expecting the pass, got it cheated up, yep. and allowed Greg to get around the corner. Anula shot from the point. And Gettle will hold on. I like the I like the mask. You gotta I gotta it admit. Is a, it is a good flames, mask. A good mask. The Cardinals starting quickly here in period number two. A couple of shots on net. There's the stop by Gettle, forcing the face off. Off the drop. Brina back to the point. The shot from Bloomquist. Rebound chance still loose out front. No one can get a stick on it. Cardinals not quite sure where it is. Finally recovered by Emily Stolp. Still battling behind the net. Coming away with it is Burrell. She squeezed off along the boards by Hackett. Rebels finally able to get it out of the zone. Cardinals play it back in, but they've got to tag up. Play it back out. Bloomquist across to Brina. Bounces off of her stick. Stoll stopped up by Hackett. Gets it ahead to Annie Lorenzen. She plays it in deep. Champlin getting a line change as Hansen leaves it behind for Bloomquist. Played it ahead. That pass didn't click. A chance for the Rebels. And the shot by Dockin went up and over. And Dockin needs to bring the shot down a little bit. She's the one that missed the wide open net and put it on top. Here's another chance for her. Shoots this one just wide. Bloomquist gets it to Hackett. Cross ice pass. A little too far in front of Del Castillo. Turned around, but uh, Stahlberger able to break it up right back to Jordan Trapp. Trapp is trapped along the near boards, but still able to get the puck through. And the Rebels get it in deep. Martinson tied up there by Hansen. Trying to play it up the boards and out and does. And that'll be icing. And a face off coming back to the Coon Rapids end to the right of Cardinal keeper Brittany Buell. Well, Cardinals able to get the first shots on goal of the second period. And I, they know it's important for them. They'd like to get the equalizer here. Gettle's probably the only one who saw that one the whole time. She was stretching for it. Just couldn't uh, reach out and get it. That'll be icing as Greg kind of chipped it around the defender and then tried to get around and lost a, got tied up in her own feet maybe and tripped up and ends up being icing. Of course, that'll be bring the puck down to the Cardinal end. So you see it there. Just lost, uh, lost an edge. Manola high off the glass, glove down at the blue line by Johnson. Chops it ahead, a shot 
Goes wide for Amanda Scott. Ryan plays it back behind. Scott tied up by Hanulu. Kicks it free to the near boards. Centering pass, but Randy Del Castillo did a nice job of tying up Micah Sutherland out front. Greg to Bailey Ryan through the neutral zone. Can't get past Johnson. She's bumped to the ice with no call. Comes out to the point, and Nula's shot is blocked, but comes through to Greg. Gets to her forehand. That shot deflected and ends up in the corner. Picked up there by Sutherland. She's angled to the boards. And now they'll try to break it out the near side. Lawrence will pick it up just in front of her own net. Lawrence looking at that chain, that line changing. Long pass didn't quite click with Greena. And going back the other way is Abby Dockett. Tried to dance around Anula, but got held up. And Buell wisely just covers it up. Yeah, puck went off a player and came right into Buell. And as you mentioned, the smart thing by discovering that puck up and forcing the face off. Dockett plays it in behind. Played out front, hopped over the stick of Kaylee Wood. Cross ice pass, doesn't click. It's going to come right in, and that'll be icing. Buell just cover it up the net, making sure it's not going to go in. And let it go by. Absolutely. Well, early on in this second, Coon Rapids setting the pace. Already four shots on goal through a little less than three minutes. And a lot more time on puck possession. Breeder shot, tipped up front the goal for Ellie Stolberger. We're all tied up. Well, you talk about a big goal for the Cardinals, and that's exactly what they wanted. You know, Gettle's been doing a good job of uh, stopping them. Not that time. Stolberger able to get the goal. Shot by Del Castillo, and oh, just went. Did it go off the stick? The goaltender stick? I thought that I think that Allie's stick, yeah, Allie got yeah, her stick she did out, get her stick in deflected there, yeah. it right in between the pads. Nice job coming oh, in behind nice. the defenseman. And you saw that uh, Kaylee Wood wasn't paying any, nope. ad any attention to Allie Stahlberger behind her. She sneaks out, reaches out, gets just enough to bring it back to the five hole and even this game up. Goal number eight for Allie Stahlberger on the season. Whitney Gregg will win the race to the puck along the end boards, keeping control into the far corner. Can't get it out to the point, comes bouncing out to the slot instead. Oh, they gave, they gave the goal to uh, Del Castillo. And Assist by Hackett and Stahlberger. And uh, I, I think uh, Coach Christofferson will correct that one. Yeah. We've got video proof. <laughs> that shot blocked by Lawrence, chopped to Whitney Gregg. Gregg slides it for Bailey Ryan. Ryan picking up speed through center, top of the circles, didn't get a lot on that shot, deflected into the corner by Gable. Hanson keeps it in at the blue line. Hackett plays it in deep. Free skips away from Dockin, centering pass broken up, but skips out of the zone. Stahlberger trying to play it back to the defense and split them. Buell will play it off the far board. Brina will bounce it along and out of the zone. Icing waved off, and Stahlberger just outraces Burrell, who had no idea she was there. So I got to have your head on a swivel. Absolutely. That one flipped off the back of the net. Cardinals trying to push it out front. Dockett sends this one all the way down, but the Cardinals touched it, so icing waved off. Hanula with Martinson doing some stick work behind her, able to get it across ice. Hackett will dump it in deep. The Cardinals get a line change. Brina trying to center. Greg stopping things up behind a wraparound chance. Rebound cleared to the boards by Martinson. Fish overskates it a little bit and then plays it back into the corner. Coming away with it is Trap. Trap will send it into the near boards. 
Anula cross ice off the boards. That's going to come right in on Gettle. Coon Rapids getting a line change. Trap turns back around. That pass skipped away from Shuck. Ryan into Greg. That deflected a shot out front. Gettle on top of it. Not quite sure she is, but she said, I'm not moving, and I'll just hope to. Hope and pray that I've got it between yeah, my pads. She got in front of Greg, and Greg just pushed it into her. Centering attempt was yeah, deflected by the defender, it there, and just, it nearly yeah. set up Emily Fish. And you saw Gettle's head spinning around just to make sure it's not behind her. Well, the Rebels yet to get a shot on goal here in the second period, Joe. And the Cardinals already with uh, have totaled their first yep. period shots in the first seven minutes of the second period. Rebels pressuring along that end board. Have the numbers down low. There's a deflection out front that just misses wide. Stole in good position. Rebels picking up their physical play, trying to get this thing turned around here in the second period. Well, Coon Rapids definitely the aggressor here in period number two. The Cardinals play a, a very active man-to-man -man defense in their defensive end. Turnover and up ice come the Rebels. Annie Lorenzen will get to the red line and dump it in. Champlin will get their top line out as Melissa Hansen recovers behind the net, passes through the slot, broken up, but unable to hold on to it was Kaylee Wood. Greg dumps it in, but not deep enough. Johnson back off the boards. Skips away from Martinson. Hansen slides and plays it into the corner. A nice job by Hansen to get a stick and push the puck away. Turnover going the other way is Lily Hackett. She'll shoot. That's partially deflected and nicely controlled by Hannah Gettle. Yeah, just off the stick and popped up and grabbed it with the glove. Now watch. Uh, nice job by Hansen just to sweep that puck away. No, she's in a foot race yeah. with, a, with a player that's probably got her uh, in speed a little oh, by yeah. a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's all you got to do. Get your stick to the puck and push it to a spot they can't score from. Hackett from the blue line. Nothing on that shot. Stopped up. Here's Brina Del Castillo circling. That shot hit traffic. Played back to the boards. Del Castillo back out to Brandy. Del Castillo, her shot deflected, ends up in the far corner. Played up the boards, and Nula will hold it in, play it back in deep. Yeah, zone possession time heavily favoring Coon Rapids here in the second period. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big and time. you can see they've got Kaylee Martinson playing out and uh, just floating out past the defense, trying to ease some of that offensive zone pressure. But uh, Gardner will just bring it back in and make Gettle. Hold on for another face off in their defensive end. Yeah, you continue to put pressure on the goaltender and good things happen. You saw the Cardinals even evening the score up and again getting a lot of pressure. Already nine shots on goal for the Cardinals here in period number two. Off the face off, a blast by Bloomquist deflected wide. Battle along the near boards kept in by Lawrence. Greg pokes it in deeper. Johnson recovers for Champlin Park. Plays it behind for Shuck. Up the far boards. Cross ice pass. Stopped up by Lawrence and played back in. Again, that long pass broken up. Smart step up by Maddie Bloomquist. Liz Zarati playing it in deep and then chasing it down. Pressuring in the near corner. Stopped up by Hackett along the near boards. Plays it around and tried to get it back to herself. Buck comes free to the far side for Colford. Tipped off the stick of Amanda Scott. Zarati plays it back in deep. Shuck up the near side for Wood. Broken up by Hackett. Back to Shuck in the corner. Back behind. Johnson didn't get much on that, trying to wing it around the boards. Hanson. Pinches her player along the boards. Brina battling. Allie Stahlberger in there as well. 
Leaves it back for Brina. Brina finds some room behind the net. Trying to center. Went off the back of the cage. Stahlberger there to battle as well. Brina comes back to help. And uh, Stahlberger going to be called for a hold. Said she held on to Sutherland. I think it was skate, but... We'll see you here, but Southern will look at the official and calling for it. Oh, yeah. yeah That's she, a good call. Yeah, she definitely she tried to pull her hand away before anybody really noticed it, but definitely a good call. And that's a, and that's a bad penalty. No, they're going to put Chamber Park in the box. Oh. Huh. That That's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought, uh, you know, you could call. There's a shot by Hackett. Gettle had to scramble the... Pick it up. I thought that, that she was taking. I, I, Stahlberger got took, taken into the boards pretty hard, yep, I, but it didn't look like the arm went up at that point. But I agree that I thought Stahlberger was holding on to her leg at the end. But right off the faceoff, a good chance. And uh, Gettle had to had to reach back to cover that one up. Trap finally able to play this one the length. Hansel will set up behind her own net. First power play in the first period was pretty solid for Coon Rapids. Yes, the it second was. one a little bit sloppy. Yep. So we'll see what happens here in the second period. Back out to the point. Hansel winds, fires, that misses wide. Stahlberger will stop it up on the near blue. Down low to Brina. Back out to Hanula's shot that deflected and went wide. Good movement so far on this power play. Hansen down low, trying a little give and go. And Brina didn't quite get enough on the pass. Stahlberger has it, trying to fight off a little poke check. And now we'll regain control behind. Down along the end boards is Hackett. Back out to the point for Hanson. For Hackett, that handcuffed her a little bit. While Champlin to get to the puck and play it all the way down. 40 seconds remaining on the power play. Anula cross ice bounces away from Bailey Ryan and fired the distance by Emily Schwartz. Yeah, Ryan right, not able to control the puck on her stick and as Jordan Trapp, excuse me, Trapp gets it down the length of the ice. Fish able to recover that one, get it ahead for Whitney Gregg. Gregg getting around the corner, trying to center. It was poked away by Gettle. Ten seconds remaining on the power play. Out to the point, Brandy a shot that missed wide. Bloomquist will get there first along the near boards down into the corner for Bailey Ryan. Chandler. Penalty is over. Out to the point for Brandy. A shot deflected and misses wide. Greg will get there first. Whitney Gregg behind the net. Out to the point for Brandy. Back down low. Skips away from Greg. Johnson able to clear it. And this will run out of steam. And Wow. <laughs> there he is. Martinson awfully lucky she didn't get yeah, called for, for, a, for, a, for a, hook a hook right yeah. there. That was clearly up in the hands. And a lot of refs, as, as soon as that stick makes contact with the gloves, it's a hook. But apparently not with the refs we have not tonight. Not tonight, nope. And especially after your team just kill, killed off a penalty, you want to be wary of picking up another. <laughs> well, yeah. The one thing Coach Coltis can be happy about is that uh, they've been successful on the penalty kill at have the Rebels here so far tonight. Not so much in that first game. Johnson walking in, his shot blocker save, big rebound out front. Bloomquist squeezes Stoll off the puck behind the net, gets it ahead to Brina. She tips it out to center. Greg coming over to help out, poking at it, but kept away by Novak. Here's Trap. Into the zone. Getting around the corner and a goal! Boy, that's a, that's a tough goal to give up, Joe, because the Cardinals have outplayed Champlain Park from the start of the second period until that goal. And Trapp just got around the defense. Not a good not a good job defensively by Coon Rapids. And, well, you and can let see her walk really in. since the end of that power play that Champlain Park was starting to put a little more pressure yeah. on at the end, but this is just speed and determination on the part of Jordan Trapp getting all the way around driving out front 
and powering it home with just 244 remaining in the second. Okay, just, uh, it's a pretty goal by Trapp. Can't please uh, Coach Christofferson, though. That's her sixth goal of the, se of the season for Jordan Trapp. Rebels aim to win the draw and play it back in deep. Hackett down the near boards. Puts the shot on. Gettle saves it to the far corner. Brina back out to the point. Martinson tips it. A one on one against Tanula. Martinson cutting to the middle. Going to her backhand, stopping up. Shot, not a lot on an easy stick save for Brittany Buell. Manula ahead to Hackett. Manula steps up, keeps it in the zone, and again. Finally, poked free. Novak able to get it into the Coon Rapids end. Anula flipped that one, didn't get enough of it. Johnson steps up and keeps it in. Stoll lost the handle, lost an edge. Ends up spinning and ends up with it. A quick shot from a short angle and a dangerous opportunity for Champlin Park. Yeah, another good chance for the Rebels there. Lorenzen trying to go back short side and can't get it out from behind the net. Martinson is shot a goal, and that one was from about a foot off of the goal line, and just like that, Champlin has a 3-1 lead. Yeah, I mean, how, how does that sit down with the Rebels? Uh, you know, up, up until the end of this uh, second period, completely outplayed, but a couple of goals here for Champlin Park. And that one, Buell had a piece of it, but it, it rolled behind her. All over the snuck between underneath the armpit on the far side. Under a minute to go here in the second. Bloomquist shot from a short angle and Gettle will hold on. You know, a tough, a tough spot for Coon Rapids down two goals now to a, a goaltender, the, the quality of Gettle, and, and it's going to make their, their job in the third period that much more difficult to climb back in. Oh, and here's Martinson poking it free again, using her speed to get a breakaway shot, and she missed everything. Stepping up was Trapp. That shot deflected up and over. And the Rebels have definitely picked up their intensity. Two goals on just four shots here in the second period. Chance out front, and that's deflected. Buell can't cover it up, still loose. And Buell finally able to get the glove on top of it. Yeah, yeah, two goals on four shots. Uh, you don't care how many shots, that if you can get 50% of those to go in the back of the net, uh, you're going to be OK. A turnover and centering pass, but nobody there to blue jersey. Lily Hackett racing the other way with 10 seconds left in the period. Her shot deflected up and headed to the corner. Five seconds left, centering chance. Allie Stahlberger backhand and an easy save for Gettle right in the keeper. One second remaining in period number two, and Gardner heading to the, to yeah, the bench. Gardner will pull the pull the goalie to get, get a sixth body on the ice. I don't know if one second is enough, though. No, it's not going to be. And uh, Champlain Park will skate to the locker room with a 3-1 lead, despite being outplayed dr dramatically for the majority of that second period. They get two late goals and have that 3-1 three three lead. We'll talk to head coach Jim Coltis after this on CTF. 
Yes, okay. This is my computer. This is your computer. Let's go on the internet. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Click it. Yes. Okay. I cursor in between the R and the E. If I say dot, I want you to just push the period. She's gonna love me all over again. Yeah. That's it. Jamaica, here you go. Here we go. <laughs> Good right. job. Thank you. Thank you. And I did it by myself. Feel smarter. Just moving a little and eating better every day can help make you and your child healthier. Search We Can to find doable tips and activities that you can use every day. Back at the Coon Rapids Ice Center, Champ will park a 3-1 lead thanks to two late goals in that second period. We're joined now by Rebel head coach Jim Coltis. And coach, your thoughts on a period where you were really uh, had it getting taken to you, but you get those two late goals and, and go to the third with a two-goal lead. Well, you know, we came out, we actually warned the kids before. We said, you know, it's senior night for Coon Rapids. They're a, good, they're a well coached team. They're going to come out hard at us. And uh, sure enough, they did. And I don't think we got a shot on goal to maybe four minutes left in that period. And then uh, we ended up getting a couple. Jordan Trapp grabbed that one, did a nice job, rushed it up there, got to her forehand. And then Kaylee Wood, we just told him, you know, you play in these small rinks, uh, Coon Rapids, Anoka, Blaine, shoot the puck from anywhere. You got a chance for it to go in, get it to the paint. And there, that's what she did. Coach, we talked before the game about some of the things that you needed to do, your team needed to do to get the win. It's, got a, it's coming out pretty nice for you. We talked about four different things. It seems to be going on the right path. You got to feel pretty good, even though you were outplayed for the majority of that second period, going in 3-1 in the third. Yeah, you know, we talked to the kids about those four things that we had mentioned earlier, you know, trying to get that puck in the paint, tack with our defense a little bit, um, take away the goalie's eyes, do some of those things, be aggressive. And, you know, the kids are trying to do those things. And, and like I said, we've got a few bounces gone our way, and hopefully we can finish it off here for the third period. Yeah, what do you tell the girls going into that third period, knowing Coon Rapids probably going to come out again with a lot of speed and a lot of fire in this final period? Well, yeah, that, and that's what we're going to say. We just need to match their intensity. Uh, the nice thing is with two-goal lead, we have an opportunity to play three lines, try to tire them out. They play two lines quite a bit over there, and hopefully uh, we can uh, have the advantage and uh, see if we can pop one more here. All right, thanks for joining us, and uh, good luck in the third period. We'll take another break. We'll be back with second period highlights after this. You're watching live girls high school hockey on CTN. Prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's gonna bring it home. Mama's okay. gonna bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. <laughs> Watch this guy. Oh, oh it's backwards. Oh. Woo! Don't. Oh. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. Here it goes. Oh. Oh. oh my God. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah, Mom. All right. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search we can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Mm. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Now it's time for This Week in Bad Stats. Bad stats? Horrible stats. Here goes. 260. That's how many runs were walked in with the bases loaded last season. Wow, very good. Here's a tough one, though. Three and four. No idea. That's the number of kids who witness bullying. Three out of four. Not a good stat. No, it's not, but that can change. Kids want to help, but they don't know how. You can visit StopBullying.gov and give them the tools they need to help prevent bullying. There are plenty of safe ways kids can help at StopBullying.gov. 
second intermission at the Coon Rapids High Center in Champlain Park. The visitors a three to one lead. And you heard from Coach Coltis, they really didn't have any shots on goal in the second period until the last four or five minutes. Uh, they scored two in the last three minutes uh, and, and turned this game completely around, really. Yeah, he's very happy with where he is. He, he's accomplishing the four things he needed through two periods. And you have a goaltender like Hannah Gettle coming into this third period up by two. It's going to make Coon Rapids' t task really difficult coming into the period. Yeah, Coon Rapids had twice as many shots in the second period as they did in the first. They have nearly twice as many shots through two as Champlain Park does. But Hannah Gettle keeping most of them out. Cardinals were able to get one in the period, even this game up. A great tip by Ali Stahlberger out front on a good effort by Brina Del Castillo. And the Cardinals just kept bringing the pressure, but Gettle stands up to it over and over and over again. She made 13 saves in that, in that period. And then at the other end, a nice drive again by Jordan Trapp, just using her speed to get around the corner. And then a short angle shot, just quick and snuck between or underneath the armpit of Brittany Buell. That one came with just over a minute remaining to make it a 3-1 lead for the visitors. Yeah, you know, again, there you see the shots on goal. Coon Rapids definitely in the advantage here, but certainly not on the scoreboard trailing by two. And you know, we talked about Hannah Gettle and her, her goals against average, uh, 1.57. And that, that's impressive. And when you're going against a goaltender like that, you're going to have to come out here in the third period are the Cardinals. And they're going to have to pressure early, and they're going to have to put a lot of pressure on that net and hope to get those kind of dirty garbage goals to, to get back into this contest. Well, we will take another break, and we will be back with third period action from Coon Rapids Ice Center right after this. You're watching live girls high school hockey on CTF. witness bullying. Oh, look! Your crush is looking at you. <laughs> Poor you. They want to help, but don't know how. See, no one here is going to help you. because no one. Teach your kids you. how to be more than a bystander. Visit StopBullying.gov. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. Let's catch them before it's too late. To start helping students in your community, visit boostup.org. million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. A full life measured in seats starts with the right ones early on. Car crashes are the number one killer of children 1 through 13. Learn how to prevent deaths and injuries by using the right car seat for your child's age and size. Jimmy can't sing. And Tommy can't dance. So we're going to put some hands in their pants. Aww. Kids will spend 22 minutes watching us, the super duper party troopers, sing about ants in their pants. Isn't that funny? Ants in their pants, they got ants in their pants, they got ants in their pants, they got ants in their pants. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Kids will spend 15 minutes 
watching online videos like this one. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. So, what is CTN Studios? Well, we're the local cable TV station in Coon Rapids. We bring you news, events, city government, sports, all the things that are happening in and around our community. So that means you'll find out what's going on next door, or at City Hall, or at the local schools. It's information other stations don't think is important, but we think it's information that's important to you. Want to know when streets are being fixed? Or learn new ways we can recycle? Or how the local teams are doing? You can find all of this on CTN. It's not just about bringing the community to you. It's about bringing you to the community. Because we think you'll like it here. CTN Studios. Building community through cable. I'm one on Lucky Guy. The chance of being involved in a robbery is 1 in 757. The chances of being struck by lightning... 1 in 750,000. Please fasten your seatbelts for unexpected turbulence. The chances of being a victim in an airline crash? 1 in 29 million. Hey, could I get some peanuts? The chances of being involved in a car crash are far greater than lightning strikes and plane crashes. And if you are texting while driving, your risk of crash increases 23 times. Now, I may be an unlucky guy, but I don't have to be part of that statistic, and neither do you. Drive responsibly. Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's going to bring it home. Mama's okay. going to bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on. Ah! Watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh. Woo! Don't. Oh. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it yeah. goes. Oh, oh Mom. Oh! Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah, All right. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. As we mentioned, it was senior night here. Six seniors skating at home for the last time in their high school careers. The seniors had a little special presentation. Their jerseys hanging at the home end of the rink at mom and dad on the ice for pictures. Those seniors, Natasha Yerku, Emily Fish, Bailey Ryan, Jessica Lawrence, Whitney Gregg, Heidi Hanula, and Ali Stahlberger number of them uh, who have been big part of this program I think uh, number two and number three will be uh, the most notable losses uh, Heidi I, I think a five-year starter yeah so, yep yeah, absolutely big loss to this program and Allie's Allie's been around the program a long time yeah. as well Bailey Ryan uh, has been has been a key component of the program at least this season and, and last um, so yeah, a lot of a lot of varsity experience. And we talk about a program that only has 18 skaters for varsity and JV. Six is a big number. It's a huge number. It is, and then when you add in the amount of experience and talent, right, that makes it even that's, larger. That's very very uh, substantial loss. Now oh, nice program nonetheless for those seniors who are being honored here tonight.
Rebels able to work it into the zone, played around far side. Whitney Gregg sends it out, sends it the length. That no. Icing waved they off. Thought, yep. Battle in the corner, played up the near boards, kept in by Hanula. She'll track it down all the way to the corner. Comes free, and Martinson will wing it around far side. Chopped out, kept in by Brina. Johnson can't get it out, kept in by Lawrence. Wood can't get it past Lawrence either. Walking in, she'll take the shot, glove save, rebound, and that goes wide as Ryan was jamming for the rebound to put it home. Rebels play it down, icing waved off as Bloomquist recovers in her own end. Yeah, good opportunity for the Cardinals there. As they are down by two. Stahlberger centering. That was stopped up. Hackett tried to get to it, but couldn't. Rebels able to break it out. Hansen will play it right back in. Play it out. Blumquist plays it right back in. Long pass and stole nearly at a breakaway, but it was broken up. Here goes Ryan the other way. Ryan into the zone, and had it poked off her stick, is taken down along the boards, no call. Greg will dump it back in deep for Emily Fish. Fish had it poked off her stick. Shuck plays it up the boards, and Nula, that shot blocked up by Lawrenson. This time gets it through, but it deflects to the corner. Ryan sends it out front, that's broken up. Lawrenson able to kick it out of the zone. Hanson near center ice, turns and plays it back in deep. Cardinals getting a line change. Bailey Ryan did a nice job of poking that, that puck out in front of the net. Unfortunately, the Cardinals weren't there to be able to try and get a shot on goal. That one will be icing, but not a bad whistle for the Rebels. They had been on the ice in their defensive end a long time. They have. Give them an opportunity to get some fresh legs out there. Cardinals with the uh, the only shot on goal so far in this period. Off the draw, back to Brandy Del Castillo. A shot, rebound chance comes free again. And the Rebels gain control, able to play it back out to center ice. Brandy across for Heidi Hanula. Up the boards and plays it in deep. Swung around by Burrell. Scott had to take it away. Puck sitting in the slot. Clearing attempt didn't go, ends up back in the corner. Scott plays it out and gets it outside the blue line. That one gloved down by Sutherland. Brina can't get through the traffic with the puck on her stick. That one just out of the reach of Martinson. Here's Hackett back into the zone. Hackett is shot. That deflects and ends up behind the net. Johnson up the boards for Martinson. Misses. Bloomquist is shot. And Gettle will hold on for another faceoff. A relatively easy save for Gettle. Just bounced right into her. 13-03 remaining in this uh, contest. Cardinals down 3-1. Even though they're out shooting the Rebels 25-12. Off the draw, big blast by Bloomquist. Gettle the save, kicked out a big rebound. But Martinson able to recover for the Rebels. Gets to center, a pass to Spring. Dockin behind the defense, is shot, and it's up over the net. Again, there a little laps uh, allowing Tampa Park to get in alone on net. Buck play back down deep to Wood. She squeezed off it by Lawrence. Played around behind. Martinson first one there for the Rebels. Martinson trying to play it back down low. Bloomquist there to break it up. She's pressured by Dockin, but gets it ahead. Here's Ryan causing a turnover, and Gettle didn't quite handle that one the way she wanted to, but able to make the save and hold on for a faceoff. Yeah, she kind of lost sight of the puck, but just trickled down right in front of her. Yeah. I think she wanted to squeeze that one in the yeah. glove, but it's going to go right in between her yep. pads and right where she can squeeze it shut. 
Off the draw. Cardinals able to win it. Stalbert plays it around. Buck comes out to Hansen in center. Back for Hanula. She's bumped off it. Puck comes free. Brina Del Castillo whips it into the zone. First one there is Johnson. Back near side for Burrell. Up the boards. Kept in at least momentarily by Hanula. And now Burrell with it. Cross ice for Johnson. Back behind for Burrell. Back behind for Johnson. Skips over her stick. This one sent the distance by Lorenzen. That'll be another icing call, another face off in the Rebel end. Yeah, Coon Rapids again keeping keeping the pace down in the in the Rebel defensive end and and getting some getting some shots on net, but nothing fi finding the back is at this point. Still plenty of time remaining in this contest. Over 11 minutes. Yeah, but Coon Rapids really needs to get the first one Absolutely. soon. Absolutely. That one hung up on the back of the net, but Ryan able to dig it free. Greg gains control, centers, that's tipped. Nobody can get a handle on it. Fish recovers, plays it back to Hanula. Top of the circle's a shot. That hit Wood out front. And here's Martinson on a breakaway. And she scores. And not much Beal could do on that. Martinson doing a nice job of controlling the puck on her stick. And, and again, that's another Rebel player getting behind the Cardinal defense and getting alone well, and in on net. It, of all the players in blue, yeah, that's you don't the want, last yeah. one you want sprung on a breakaway. Absolutely. But you saw a good heads up play as soon as she saw that turnover. She was heading up ice, getting behind the defense. That's her second goal of the night. And a 4-1 lead for Champlin Park. Yeah, it's going to make it a tough situation, especially now. For Big Coon blast Rapids. and a blocker saved by Buell. Scoring for Champlin Park at 5 minutes, 53 seconds into the period. Number 17, Katie Martinson, uh, the assist from Abby Dockett. Martinson from Dockett at 5 53. That's goals Here's 14 Martinson and 15. Here's again, walking in and shot up high, and Buell tried to glove it and came up empty. Centering attempt. And Ryan able to chop it out to center. Played back in. Del Castillo is just going to play it all the way down, right in on Gettle, so no ice. Lawrence has it tipped off her stick by Johnson. Rebels play it back to center. Hanula at her own blue line. Cross ice for Hackett. Well, Joe Carter's in a little late season slide. They're trying to break out of it here. Well, if they can't come back and win this one, it'll be six straight games yeah. without a win for the Cardinals. Shot through traffic. Glove down by Gettle. Penalty coming up here against Champlain Park. Well, here's an opportunity for Coon Rapids to attempt to get back into this game now on the power play. Haven't been successful yet this evening when they've had the skater advantage. No, they moved the puck well last last power play. They did, but unable to get more than one shot on goal. Couple that hit traffic and went wide. Pass is not clicking to start the advantage. Protus into the zone, bugged by Dockin. Ryan has it slapped off her stick. Dockin able to poke it back out to center ice. Recovered by Hansen. Cross ice for Ryan. Greg had to get away from her. Novak able to angle her off the puck and play it back out to center. Marina has it chopped off her stick. Manula walks to the high slot. That shot misses wide. Get Greg recovers. Skates back up top. To Hanula. That shot hit traffic just laying there. Picked up by Trap. 
Hanula steps up and takes it back. Nice job by Hanula to fight for that puck. Trying to center, that's tipped away and play back out to center. Bloomquist waits for the zone to clear, but it's tipped off her stick and play back out again to center ice. Martinson pressuring the puck. Just over 30 seconds remaining in the power play. Brandon Del Castillo walking in. Trying to get around Burrell, but tied up in the corner. Leaves it for Hackett. Hackett walking out, tried to center. That's deflected. Stopped at the blue line by Blomquist. Her shot well wide. Five seconds left in the power play. Here's Hackett behind. Hackett leaves it. Del Castillo back out to Lawrence at the point. Her shot misses wide. Hackett trying to center. Got it to Brina. That's deflected up and over. Hackett trying to come out of the corner. Plays it back to Bloomquist at the point. That shot blocked by Stoll. And here comes Martinson. Moving it ahead for Sutherland. She couldn't hang on as it came at her from behind. Bloomquist ahead to the line for Hackett. Play it in and Gettle just sticks it away. Green is trying to jam it home. Again, a centering attempt that's stopped up by Champel Park Skates. That one's off the boards and out to center. Brandy Del Castillo. The fish skips away from her. Well, good job by the, by the Rebel defense, really, of, of keeping the puck out of harm's way and keeping it from away from the front of the net the last couple of times down where Coon Rapids in the Rebel zone. Lawrence feels the pressure from Wood, gives it to Brandy. Del Castillo plays it back to the far corner. Nobody there. And it's Andy Lawrence. That Moving it ahead. Now Dockin trying to come out with it. Martinson. Centering just out of the reach of Dockin. Well, the Cardinals having a tough time getting out of their defensive end. Centering attempt broken up. Bounces right back to Martinson. Down low, skips away from Wood. Dockin in the far corner. Dockett, high slot, nobody there in a blue jersey. And Brina just going to play at the distance so they can get a change. 5-22 remaining, Champa Park with a 4-1 lead and commanding the action at this point in the third period. Yeah, Cardinals just had to get the, the puck down ice to get a breather for some of those players out on the ice so they could get that change. But yeah, Champa Park, despite being outshot 28-14, Doing a nice job of, of holding that lead and increasing it, as a matter of fact, here in the third period. To get it to a three-goal deficit. Ryan's cross-ice pass picked up off the boards by Hackett. Gets around the corner, trying to center. That hit escape. Ends up in the near corner. Hackett trying to recover, battling. Comes free for Stoll. And she gets it ahead to Lorenzen, who plays it off the boards and into the Coon Rapids end. We're under five minutes remaining in this contest. Stoll back behind the net. Bump to the ice. Lorenzen had a chance at it. Lawrence now with it for Coon Rapids. Backhand attempt. Stopped up at the line by Shuck. Lawrence able to, or uh, Hanula rather, able to skate through it and get it out. A centering attempt poked away by Gettle. Still free in the high slot. Stolberger's shot is stopped up by the traffic and played back out to Blumquist at center ice. Manula into the zone, shot up high and gloved by Hannah Gettle. Well, Hannah had Protus there as well, but Gettle just smartly gloved that puck and forced that face off to her left. Protus down low for Whitney Gregg. 
Greg cycling it with herself. Protus in to help out. Coming out of the corner with it is Emily Colford. Colford chips it into the Coon Rapids end and gives chase. She gets kind of hammered as yeah. Lawrence was protecting her keeper who was playing it behind the net. Johnson skating from behind her own net all the way to center. Firing it in and that's deflected into the far corner. Moonquist. Got a little tied up. Martinson trying to come out of the corner with it. Lawrence steps up and picks off that pass. Walking in that shot glove by Gettle. Three minutes exactly on the clock as we await a face off to her right. Watching girls high school hockey live on CTN. Champlain Park with a 4 1 lead. Now you see the shot by Lawrence, uh, easily gloved by Gettle. And Cardinals really not mounting much of an offensive threat despite the 30 shots on net here in this contest. Well, they, they've put plenty of pressure well, on yeah. Tana Gettle. It's been impressive. He, she really has. And 30 shots on goal for the Cardinals. And that's and only Col one has found its way past. There was another almost opportunity for the Rebels there as that puck was bouncing in front of the net. Manula through center now plays it in behind and gives chase. Played back to the far side. Hansen will pick it up for the Cardinals. That shot hit traffic. Stoll can't get it past to Nula. Greg pokes it to the corner, trying to play it out front. Poked away. Stoll has it. Getting some help from Lorenzen. Kept in at the line again by Hanula. Greg. Nice little move, but then lost the handle. Rebels protecting the slot. Three players in that slot area. They're not going to give up any room nope. to the good scoring area. Two clearing attempts. No good for Burrell. Third one won't work either. We're under 90 seconds remaining. Shot from the point misses wide. Finally, Stoll able to get a hold of it, play it all the way down. That'll be icing. 1-11 remaining in this one, and Champlain Park going to get a big payback victory here on the Cardinals' home ice, spoiling their senior night. Yeah, it'll end up splitting the series. It's going to actually put them up ahead of the standings now in the conference, both with 6-9-1 records coming in in conference play. And Cardinals will drop to 6-10-1. 7-9-1 for the Rebels in the conference. And that'll, all, that'll matter. All when seedings come out. One minute remaining in the period. Shot turned away by Gettle. Rebound played back out front. Cardinals can't get a stick on it. Ryan trying to get it back out to the far side point. That's broken up. Cardinals continue to pressure the puck. Back out to Hanula. Far side for Ryan. Dumped in deep. Hackett out of the corner. Cross ice to Hanula. Short angle shot. Hits the side of the cage. Cardinals keeping the Rebels bottled up but not able to generate anything toward the front of the net here the last uh, minute or so. As we're down under 10 seconds remaining, this one's dumped in by yeah. Colford, and that will just about do it. But, you know, it's a, it's a tough loss for the Cardinals because they really outplayed the Rebels in, their, in pretty much every category other than the scoreboard. You know, out shooting them 30-14 and, and 
and, and giving giving themselves some opportunities. But that young lady right there, Hannah Gettle, was, was the star, keeping the puck out of the net. 30 shots on goal, 29 saves on the evening. And she has another fine outing between the pipes for the Champa Park Rebels. Well, the goaltenders were the story, and the goaltender in blue definitely on her game tonight. Brittany Buell didn't get as much action, and, and that could be part of the reason she let, uh, really, but really only one of them was, right. could even be considered somewhat soft. That's a good, good move right there by Jordan Trapp. That one just kind of took a funny hop on her, and then Cardinals give up a breakaway to Kaylee Martinson. You can't do that. And you can't expect your, your goaltender to, nope. to make that stop more than maybe two or three times out of ten at best. But well, you, you give up the, a breakaway to their best player and you're typically giving up a goal. 29 saves for uh, Hannah Gettle tonight. Here's a look at what we have coming up for you here on CTN. It's a battle for the Northwest Suburban Conference crown on Friday night as the Cardinals and the Tornadoes take the mat. Live coverage starts at 7 o'clock. Actually, that won't be live coverage. We nope. hope to get it on by midnight. It'll be a, a single camera shoot. It will be. Oh, now we're now we're hearing it's lovely how often things change and how little communication there is in the communications industry. Moving along on, on Tuesday, February 3rd, we'll be uh, at the Anoka Ice Arena for uh, the Cardinals boys hockey game against the Tornadoes. And then we'll see the, uh, hopefully see the girls hockey team in playoffs on February the 10th. First round action is that, is that Saturday before, but uh, we are not gonna be able to, to make a Saturday event nope. that weekend. Hopefully they will make it to the semifinal round and we will pick them up from there. But that's gonna do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from the Coon Rapids Ice Center. It's Shampoo Park 4, Coon Rapids 1. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us. Continue to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Ali Shapiro. I'm Joe Young, saying goodnight.